Pardon? I think just desperation level went up. You know, we felt after the second, we just given them three goals. Uh, one was a two on one. Uh, nobody filled in for the D joining. And then uh, second was obviously five on three. And, and then odd man rush again. And I think that was on the power play as well. So we just felt like we kind of handed them three goals there. And we felt like if we kept, kept playing five on five and just kept pushing and, and staying on the attack and, and forcing them to go back for pucks, we were eventually going to come up with someone to forecheck. We felt like we were forechecking well. And um, yeah, we got rewarded at the end. Well, the hit in itself, I looked at it in an admission. I don't think it's that bad. You know, it's unfortunate the way it happens where Nate kind of crosses over into him, um, gets a stick up, and I think it's his, obviously his stick that cuts himself. But at the end of the day, um, you know, when when one of your best friends and teammates and ultimately your best player gets hit like that in the neutral zone, you just got to make sure that next time anybody thinks about doing that, they have to pay a price and that there's going to be some, you know, consequences with that. And and that's not, it doesn't have to be a dirty play for that to, you know, for, for us to feel that way. It's just the way it is. And Hall didn't want to answer for it. And that's unfortunate, but um, yeah, hope Nate's okay. Well, they, they've made it pretty clear, somewhat clear over the last couple of years that they're trying to get rid of those, I guess. Um, but it's unfortunate the way it happens. And, you know, Nate, uh, I feel a little bit responsible for giving him kind of a soft play up the middle, but, um, you know, it's uh, stuff happens and it happens quick. And unfortunately, Nate's hurt now, and, and we don't know for how long, but we just hope he's okay. No, I trust that the refs made that right call. You know, they I'd rather have them do that and be able to review it. But if they call it a, a minor right off the bat, they can't make it a major after. So I'd rather have them give them a major after the bat and then review it. And obviously they, you know, they saw it and looked at it. Yeah, no, um, I think for us, it's just, uh, it's a momentum swing of our team right now. I think going into the third period tonight, we knew that um, we still had a chance to win the game and we were never out of it. So um, you just kind of kind of keep riding that momentum of the team. And um, we're fortunate right now, a lot of guys are stepping up in, in roles and, and playing really well. And we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of depth chances. So, yeah. Andrew, you, when you hit home, that you trying to get him to answer the bell and you yeah, I was trying to force him to do it, but he didn't want to, so that's okay. How much of a challenge Yeah, I mean, obviously a little bit, and, you know, I think, um, you know, he's just trying to pay, play him hard, but uh, at the end of the day, he takes a penalty on him, uh, and obviously that's unfortunate, puts us down two guys, but, you know, it just kind of puts you in shock when you see a guy like that bleeding that much center ice and, you know, wobbling and, and not being able to get, get up. And I think it puts us all kind of in a state where you're not necessarily all there to play the hockey game right after that. Um, and, yeah, we, we might have spent a little bit too much time, but that's why I was hoping that Halsey was going to, you know, settle it with me and then we could just move on from it. But, uh, yeah. Take two, three more. Uh, can you just walk through – Yeah, that was exciting. Um, yeah, we were able to keep a puck in, and, and, and I think Val slid it over to Nas, and Nas faked the shot, and he saw me coming out of the corner. And um, obviously, that's a long movement for the goalie, so I was just trying to get it shot off quick. And yeah, it was exciting. Go ahead, Mike. As a, yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> obviously, like Lanny said, you never want to see a, like a best friend like that or anything go down. So um, uh, we might have got a little bit uh, too intense with it in the second period. But le like Lanny said, it's just uh, we wanted the guy to answer. And then um, we were going to we knew that we, we had the ability to make up for 
um, the mistakes that we that we put ourselves in ourselves in, obviously on the PK there. So um, no, this one's uh, we definitely were fueled for Nate uh, in the third there for sure. Yes. Okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah, they were um, they were overplaying kind of Miko's flank, uh, Miko's flank there, and I was I was looking over there the whole time to give him a one T, and then um, as a, as I saw, I just Landy had a great screen in front, and the whole kind of right side of the net was open, and I'm just decided to shoot it. Uh, originally, I thought it went off the side of Landy, but um, he says it didn't. But so um, yeah, no, it was great screen, and that's why we scored.